Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk this way. We're going to spread out. Keep your eyes open for mushrooms. All right? Let's go. In uh, the Bay Area, uh, mushrooms happen mostly in the wintertime, late October, early November. Today we're at McLaren Park. It's the second largest park in San Francisco. And I'm here with uh, some students from San Francisco State University. We'll be collecting mushrooms for the fair that's happening this weekend. That's beautiful. The Mycological Society of San Francisco puts on a fungus fair every year. The day before the fungus fair, on Friday, uh, we go out and collect as many mushrooms as we can. We usually have, oh, about 50 people or so uh, collecting in various uh, places around the Bay Area. We call uh, mushroom hunts forays. Well, some forays are specifically for collecting edible species, but today, because it's for the fungus fair, we're going to gather anything we find. It's like an Easter egg hunt. You hear squeals of delight off in the woods. JR, you should see the mushrooms you just got. Oh, yeah, let's see. It's huge. Oh, wow. This is one of the slimier ones. Yeah, they're like really sticky. Really sticky. You see how stuff is sticking to it and all and they that. They all stay together. That's a beautiful clump. That's yeah. really nice. Good find. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a nice batch of mushrooms down here. You see them? So this one is what we call poison pie. It's another one you don't want to eat. So these uh, mushrooms are mycorrhizal with this uh, spruce tree. So that means that they're exchanging nutrients and the tree's happier and the, and the fun fungus is happy. Turns out about 90%, over 90% of plant species are involved with fungi in that way. Now there are some people who feel that mushrooms shouldn't be picked because you might be taking away some food for other organisms. People tend to go off trail when they're collecting mushrooms. Most of the parks in the Bay Area uh, have rules against uh, collecting mushrooms. But the parks of the city of San Francisco do not have regulations against uh, collecting. Put it on your tongue. When you identify some mushrooms, you need to taste them. Chew it up a little bit. Don't swallow. <laughs> Pass this around. Here's some more. It's sort of like peppery yeah. taste. Whoa. No. Yeah, so that's Whoa. characteristic. <laughs> It'll go away soon, don't worry. And we're going to head on up to the Lawrence Hall of Science and set up for the fair. The chanterelle is kind of fibrous, almost like string cheese. This is our display room where we have most of the 275 species of mushrooms that we found on, uh, on Friday. Here we have uh, uh, Herisium arenaceus. This is uh, also called the lion's mane. This is a really good edible species. It has the texture of lobster. This would be a, a party size. <laughs> this one's called uh, Amanita phylloides and also is known as death cap, responsible for more deaths than any other mushroom in, that we find in North America. There is another Amanita that is a good edible. That is this one here. It is, uh, this is called Amanita lanii, uh, also called Cocora. And you can see that they're fairly si similar in the way that they look. So there are several characteristics you, okay. you need to look for. We've uh, contemplated them year after year, and finally I decided to ask an expert to be sure. If you have a, uh, a mushroom and it doesn't show all of the characteristics, yes. don't eat don't it. Don't eat it. Right? OK. It's usually this golden brown color. Uh -huh. Uh, Amanita phylloides, the death cap, generally will be paler and have more green tones. Yeah, I've seen okay. greenish ones. So originally, I'm from northern Bavaria in Germany. And, uh, you know, in that part of the world, mushroom hunting is, is uh, commonly practiced by everybody. Yeah, mushroom season. In the United States, mushroom hunting 
has traditionally not been very popular. People tend to be afraid of mushrooms, I think. And boom. It's gaining interest. Most of the people join the Mycological Society so that they can learn how to go out and collect their own edible mushrooms. As we get to the end, you're getting more mushrooms. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Plenty of bread and butter. All right. This is barley, bolitas, trumpets. We want to uh, get, get the word out that uh, fungi are, are cool. Oh, isn't that a beauty? So if we can wow some of the public about the interesting group of organisms, then, then it works.